gang, Jeff Stone here with day 78 of the year 2015 at magicreview.com with not good. Bill Flash Reverse. Um, so you get two gimmicks. One gimmick turns from a playing card into a dollar bill. The other gimmick turns from a dollar bill into a playing card. Um, you get parts of the gimmicks. You have to supply your own money to, to finish the gimmick, which makes sense because you, your currency may be different. Um, first of all, the Arts and Crafts project, it was a nightmare. And it still did not come out right. And so without exposing too much, obviously the bill and the, the, and the card are together. And because of how thick a playing card is, when you fold it in quarters, it doesn't, it's hard to get like a perfect fold that without the card cracking and, and you know, the corners will kind of stick out. So like, I'll just use this note card here. So you fold this in half here and this will probably work just fine with a thin note card. Then you fold it in half again. And with a playing card, what you get is the center pieces kind of flare out a little bit. Okay, like this, I'm exaggerating it here. That's what happens when you try to fold the card and hook it up to this gimmick. And there was nothing, I, I, I tried everything, I could not get that to not happen. And so because of that, the card's sticking out all over the place and it's bright in your face. So that was a problem. Um, the, the gimmick that goes from um, a, a card to a bill is, it's doable and it's workable and um, but it was a nightmare to get everything aligned just perfectly. Um, and the, the DVD structure didn't help. The DVD was a mess. We'll talk about that in a minute. Um, the gimmick that goes from a bill to a card, um, it's, it's not bad. But again, a nightmare to get everything aligned up. And that's the one where you have this problem big time when, the, when it's open to show like a bill. Um, and then on top of that, the ad copy. Ugh. There's one effect it's talking about in the ad copy where it says that you can take the deck out and you can show it all around or you show both sides of it. It's a totally nor normal deck. Okay, when does a deck become not normal? When you have a gimmick card in it, is it then is it still a normal deck with a gimmick card in it? Or does the entire deck have to be gaffed to be considered not normal? Um, I get that an invisible deck's not normal, but what a deck that's got like, you know, five or six extra special cards in it. Is that not normal? So I don't know where you draw that line. In this particular case, you've got two gaffs in the deck and uh, one's just a, a double backer. Uh, but the other one is the gimmick that's a little bit bulky and you have to hold the deck in like a deep kind of uh, dealer's grip to hide that. And so to say that you can show it on both sides is just a crock. Um, there's a couple other things in the ad copy that I had a problem with. Um, just go read the written review on that because it was there's some pretty serious things there so i had a problem there um it oh one of the things it says is that you're holding the card and then it says with nothing to hide it changes into a dollar bill oh there's something to hide and you're hiding it for sure um and then it talks about once it changes into a dollar bill it's a it's a um legitimate dollar bill well, yeah, it's legitimate, but um, it's not, it's attached to a gimmick. You can't hand it out. So they took some, um, some, some liberties with the wording for sure. And then later in the ad copy, it says the words that you just read above are 100% accurate. Sorry, folks, they're not. Um, I'm, I'm a little distracted because I'm trying to think there's one other big thing in the ad copy and this is an unusual video. I normally film the video right after I write the written review, but it's been a couple of hours now, um, a few hours, and I, I so I forgot some of, the, some of the stuff I was going to tell you about. Uh, so make sure you read the written review in this case. Um, the the now looking at the video trailer, the effects they are that clean. I mean, the gimmick is that good or clean or whatever. If you can get the thing built the right way, which was a nightmare just a nightmare um then so the dvd itself um the lighting was terrible i mean half the time you i'm not exaggerating you could not tell if you were looking at the front of a card or the back of a card because it was so whitewashed um his face uh, several times was like half his face you could not see it it was whitewashed out there was also something in the ad in the video that's not in the ad trailer 
but in the video they show a scene where if, if you, so it's going to be a little confusing if you watch the ad trailer there's a, a clip of an effect where you take a dollar bill and you place it underneath your wallet and then you lift up the wallet and it or the spectator can lift up the wallet and it changes into the card um that's legit but in the dvd they show that same performance but he has the spectator pick up the card that just changed from a dollar bill then he has a spectator unfold it you cannot do that now he didn't put that in the ad trailer and he never claims you could do it but he does it in the dvd and then never teaches you how to do that so that's just a crock <clears throat> um the uh training was it was nuts so the way you learn how to make the gimmicks they show these images on the screen with text and, and they're like they're they're graphic images they're not pictures um and then um what he does is like before you can even read the first one the next one's already superimposing over it and so i'm like okay this is fine i can pause it and do it step by step so i go to pause it but it's so fast that when i pause it the other image is already starting to come in so that was a little tricky finally i was able to get it to pause here's the weird thing the video starts off with a performance of one of the effects and then it goes right to one of these graphic screens where it's showing you how to fold the dollar bill and it's just all with the pictures and it doesn't say anything it's just pictures of the bill with numbers one two three however many numbers there were so i'm like that's interesting what is that all about and then the next thing it cuts to um how to make um one of the gimmicks then it shows a performance of using the other gimmick that it did not just show you how to make and then after that it shows you how to make the gimmick for the performance you just saw um but he's he's already taught you how to use the gimmick even though he hasn't taught you how to make it it was just all out of order and out of whack and it was just weird man the whole thing was just a mess extremely frustrating experience to get through it anyway uh if i keep rambling i'm just gonna get more and more negative and i don't want to do that uh so and i'm tired i told you guys about my weird sleep problems going on uh so i'm just telling you guys um it might be worth it for you if you were willing to invest the time and willing to go through the frustration of everything that's involved in this um because the you it does have the potential from the 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 clips you see in the ad trailer it can look that clean the problem is the one i i made the gimmicks but i can't show them to you because it'll expose everything that's how bad they they turned out and and i'm not the most artsy and crafty guy in the world but i did exactly what he said and it's just the cards are too thick and so i don't know if he was trimming the cards or something to make them thinner uh to make them not as wide um and that's the thing had he actually walked through the explanations instead of showing these 20 second graphics that that covers the whole thing in just you know 20 seconds had he walked through them he might have been able to say hey, look here's something you need to watch out for here and here's a, a thing you need to be careful of here and, and so on but none of that was there so it was not very good instruction the instructions on how to use the gimmick once they're made was was actually pretty good um uh, you know putting aside the lighting issues that was actually okay and his english is good enough that it, you know you could you could get the gist of everything so that was okay um now if you got the i think the phoenix cards that are thin those thinner cards it might actually work a lot better on this um the other thing too i should mention is you will have to waste three bills if you're gonna whatever three one dollar bills or five dollar bills or whatever you're using and when i say waste i mean that very literally two of the bills are done you'll never be able to use them again as money um, you have to destroy them and cut them up um, one bill is reusable if you take your gimmick apart which is not a quick and easy thing to do um, so that's something to keep in mind so i've lost two dollars on this um, because i had to cut these bills up to make the gimmicks so uh, overall this is not a good experience um, but if you had thinner cards which he never mentions that in here I, he uses regular bicycle cards but if you had thinner cards and you maybe practiced um with uh fake money or something uh, until you got the exact everything the right way you need to get it and by practice i mean practice building the gimmicks because they, again they're a pain in the butt and i'm following the instructions along and there's little fine little details that you don't realize you needed to know until it's too late and then you're kind of screwed so um in fact practicing it with with fake money is not even going to do you any good because once you make the gimmick you can't really take it apart and now is another thing 
one of my gimmicks is already coming apart. And I don't mean the part that I made. I mean the part that was supplied is already falling apart. And he also talks about how to replace uh, once your card gets, you know, folded too many times, it's going to start breaking. He talks about how to put the gimmick on another card. The way he shows you to put the gimmick on another card, it's not going to work. Because what you do is you cut this thing off and you stick it to another card, right? Well, that makes the card one card thicker than it was when it was on the original gimmick. And then if you were to repeat that for another card, it would be two cards thicker. And all of a sudden you got this playing card. It's just got this thick thing on the back. Ridiculous. So I think you get the point, folks. Um, I like the effects. I mean, they're, look, they're great if the gimmick would work and if you could build it and if you could make it. So go read the written review. It's got all the details in there. Two stars, stone stats of rubble. I'm not recommending this. I can't. I think it's uh, 30 bucks. I can't remember. I, it's on the site. Anyway, time to like the video, subscribe to my channel, listen to the random iTunes song of the moment, which is the loving gift, the very tail end of it. The loving gift by Johnny Cash and June Carter, classic, uh, classic song, love song, um, and classic country stuff I was raised on. So um, anyway, that's it for today, guys. Um, just a reminder, I've, the contest is over. Thank you, everybody, for all your participation in it. And I will have the totals and the winners and all that. Um, tomorrow's Friday. Maybe tomorrow, but latest uh, Saturday. So tune in tomorrow, day 79, where we're going to be doing Zero, which is Professional Magic Without Elements by Juan Esteban Varela. There you have it, folks. Thanks for watching. We'll see you then. Peace out.